Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to change the theme or appearance of your WordPress website. One of the great things about WordPress is the ability to change the theme or appearance with just one click. You can download thousands of different themes for your website, or if you have the skills and the knowledge, you can actually create a theme from scratch using code and create a truly unique looking website. So let's take a look and see how we can swap this in and out and how we can add themes to our website. Simply go ahead and click on appearance on the sidebar here and you are brought to your theme manager. As you can see right now, it currently highlights your current theme and I have one available theme down here. Both of these are available with WordPress by default. So if we come to my website here really quick, it's really basic, I don't have much content here yet. This is what it looks like though, the theme. If I go back to my back end and I come down here to this available theme and I click activate, we are going to put that theme into effect. So we switch back here to my website really quick, hit refresh, and the website already looks completely different. It's that simple. Coming back to the back end though, we can actually add and upload new themes right from the back end. So if you click add new at the top here, you are brought to a new page. You can either search for themes right here on the fly, right from wordpress.org. You can upload themes that you may have purchased or gotten from other websites. We can look at the featured themes that are on wordpress.org, the newest themes, and the recently updated themes on wordpress.org. So you can either search through that, or you can go to wordpress.org itself, go to extend, and then go to themes if you so choose. But really there's no need to when you have it all right here for you to search by. And you can search for different features and all that kind of stuff. But again, there are thousands of themes out there and there are many websites that contain themes. Some themes are premium and will cost you, but, some of, but if you find the right theme, it's worth it because some of those themes out there are really good. They come with a lot of features and a lot of different plugins and it's just really good to shop around. But it's also good because you can test things, these things out. So let's just go ahead really, here really quick and try this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some search criteria in. I'm going to look for a green theme. So I'm gonna put in the color green in my check mark here and just click find themes right down here. Again, you come up with a bunch of different stuff here and you can read the descriptions, you can preview them if you so choose before installing them and you can just do all sorts of different stuff. So let's just kind of come down here and find one really quick. Let's go ahead and choose this one right here. So I'm going to simply click install and then it'll just kind of confirm it and you click install now and it's done. Now you can go ahead and preview it if you want. You can return to your theme installer or you can activate it right here. So I'll just simply go activate. And now, as you can see, this is now in your theme manager. If we go to the website itself and hit refresh, we have a new theme, just like that. So there are just, I'll just point one more thing out here with the add new feature. I'm gonna go back there and just click that again. With the upload feature, you can simply go ahead and browse to a zipped theme that you have downloaded from another website and just click install now, and it'll just go the, through the same process that I just showed you. It'll show it installing, you can choose to activate it, or you can just keep it in your themes list for later on if you choose to. And of course, as I said, the featured, will just show you featured themes that are really popular, the newest ones, the re recently updated ones, and all that good stuff. So anyway, this is a great way to change the look of your site. Again, it's very easy and I highly recommend it so you can get something that's unique to you. Anyway, I have more tutorials coming, so stay tuned.